you know, some people have a two-year plan, five-year plan. Well, I'm living my 20-year plan. Since Jason is young, he always wanted to be on a boat, like day in, day out, always on a boat. He wanted to live in a, live in a boat, and he explained that to me. We're on another planet on a boat. It's very different. It's very calm. It's, it's, we're apart from the civilization and all the craziness. We're going as far as we can go for now. So the Bahamas seems like the furthest point I can get with my current boat. I was watching a movie of Wyatt Earp, and at the end of this movie, I think it was his girlfriend that said, I would be happy living in hotel rooms the rest of my life. I don't know, it just kind of clicked with me, that feeling that you don't have a home and that you're always traveling. Uh, for sure, we have to make some, uh, some change in our lives, uh, adapt our way of living and uh, try to find ways to be sustainable and uh, diminish all the things that we own. You can't imagine what a house can hold until you pack it. And it was full of junk that we never used in many, 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 many years. You don't need anything to live. You just need bare minimum and that's it. Good food, good wine, that's all you need. Good coffee too. And then you, you leave and you go. And I do not want to stop. I want to see everywhere in the world. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Australia. I want to go into the Philippines. I want to see everyone, meet everyone, and just say, hey, hi. Now, Chambly locks are interesting because uh, they're uh, built, I believe, in the 1800s, and everything's mechanical. Everything's like old fashioned. And um, sometimes it can be a little rough because uh, the water is coming for you. Uh, as the water is coming in to fill up the canal, it's pushing on you. So a big boat like ours, we have to tie two or three cables and we have to hold on pretty tight as the water is pushing us back. And then after all the locks in Chambly, we met my mom and Jason's mom. And we had lunch together and we cried and we say goodbye again and everything. You know, because my mommy doesn't want to let go of her baby. She doesn't want to cut the cord and let me go fly by myself. She just, anyways, she's a mère poule. I don't know what's the expression in English, but she's a mère poule. Leaving our family 
parents are finding it hard. It's tough for them. My wife, really tough for her. But you know what? I'm a man, so a oh, man yes. does not cry. <laughs> I'm fine with that. But it's happy and sad feeling at the same time. Because we're going to an adventure. But we, we are leaving people we love behind. And then we got to the border. Uh, it was uh, five to six, and the uh, customs officer was on the end of the dock waving his hands, going, hey, come on, come on, come on. I'm going, oh, geez, what did we do? What does he want from us? And uh, so the customs officer says, do you know what time it is? I go, no, uh, I guess, uh, oh, it's uh, about five to six. And he says, well, we close at five. You should be here a half an hour before to fill out the paperwork across the border. I said, oh, sorry, man, uh, I had no idea. And so as we're getting off the boat and uh, we're doing out the paperwork, he looks at uh, Frenchie's paperwork and he goes, oh, geez, man, uh, this guy uh, is not crossing the border tonight. I go, well, what do you mean? Well, unfortunately, at the customs office uh, on the water, they don't have the scanner to do the fingerprint reading. So we had to go back to Canada, back to the border, Canadian side, check in, wait there all night. Next morning, we took our bikes out biked over to the uh, customs office by a bike, went there, Frenchie got his fingerprints ridden, and then we went back to the boat, crossed the border, and we finally got onto Lake Champlain. meeting new people. It's fun seeing what they live, uh, tasting their food, seeing new things, seeing new places. I just love it. I cannot stand still. And this adventure, there's nothing like it in the world for me. I just feel at home, on my boat, and I'm traveling. That's all I want to do.